Welcome to Catherine the Paint. <laughs> Today I am doing a bloom technique that is the, the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, the spin. But what is unusual about this one is it's going to be using exactly the same stuff I used on the video from Saturday because I really liked how it turned out. And so after I had finished taking the video and everything, I was clicking some pictures of it and I dropped my phone onto the painting. Like the whole thing plopped, like ruined the contour painting. So I scraped it off and was very, very sad. So this is the same canvas. So I've just <laughs> scraped it down and now I am it's been a couple days. I've calmed down. <laughs> I'm going to use the exact same paints I did before and I'm going to do the same thing. And you know it's not going to turn out the same, but I will, am curious to see how different it will be. So that will be fun and I will actually have a painting hopefully. So with any luck at all. So let's get this done. Let me just go over the paint colors again in case you didn't see that other one. I'm using three primary elements. I am using the ginger flower, the persimmon, and the key west. I am also using Arteza's gold, Amsterdam magenta, and the Amsterdam oxide black for the topper. All the ingredients that I use to mix this stuff together is in the description box below. And there is a tutorial to how to mix everything that I will put in the comments. So you can just click on that. It'll be the first pinned comment. If you want to know exactly how to mix all these up. All right. So, just start by drizzling it. I'm going to drizzle all of these colors. Doesn't matter how you do it. Orange is not one of my favorite colors, but this persimmon is so pretty. I love it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a cross between copper and orange. It's just so rich. Two more colors left, the gold. And the key lime. Gonna finish this off. All right. So 
so I'm gonna put my cell activator on this tile and then use a playing card you can use like cardboard or like I mean like the junk mail cardboard stuff if you have it anything I'll do so So I just take the card and I dip it in and then I swipe it across and then. then wipe it off. Woo, that looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, I think I could reach it better doing it sideways instead of being all awkward with it. All right. Did not get it, whoop, did not get it down very good right there. All right, but I can fix that, no big deal. Concentrating and getting all quiet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all, like in your area, have something called Sign Gypsies. Uh, it is a business that you can book them to come and put signs in your yard for like a special occasion, like if you have a graduation or an anniversary or birthday. Um, and they will come and they set up the signs and they leave them for 24 hours, so it's like a rental. And it's all the rage since COVID because you can't go anywhere, you can't plan graduation parties and stuff. So. Um, my daughter has gotten herself a territory and she's doing that and it's in the college town that's like 45 minutes away so it's a lot to do <laughs> it's really really cool but it has been so busy and I've been helping her with that 
So sometimes I'm just too tired to paint, which is very sad. I'm gonna do a couple extra swipes right here. And I think, yeah, one more right here. I think I'm gonna do a half a card. Anyway, I'm just telling you guys about that because I thought a lot of people don't know about it. And if you have a special occasion coming up, just you can just go to their website, Sign Gypsies, and check them out and see if they're in your area. Because it really is cool. I got signs for my birthday. It's so much fun. Okay, I am pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? All right. I am going to put my lids on my paint and clean this up while this is developing just a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. And then I'll wreck it and then I'll spin it. So I will be back in about three minutes. Okay. It's been a couple minutes or maybe three. All right. So. <sighs> hmm. So I'm going to wreck it with my palette knife. Um, as always, this is inspired by um, Kathy Miller. She does this technique, but um, I don't follow everything exactly the way she does it because it's art and we can each do our own thing. But she uses like a skewer. I don't have a skewer, so I'll just use this. And I know it makes a wider line when I turn it. And I'm cool with that. So I like seeing the different reactions or different results but um yeah it's fun so i am just going to start wrecking it whoops so let's steal Awesome. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now we are going to start spinning it. All right, let's go clockwise for a few turns. Now let's go the other direction. Ooh, it's looking pretty cool. Yeah, um, when you do this technique, when you have this much paint on your canvas, you have to either tilt it or spin it because it's too much paint and it will crack. And you will not do well if you have too much paint on the end. So all of this paint that's coming off, it's a good thing. Look at it. I 
think we're done. Maybe, maybe do a little tilt. I don't know. Let's see. Get it off the spinner. Okay. I think I'm going to tilt it that way a little bit. This is kind of pastel y, but it does kind of look like a landscape. I don't know. Interesting. There it is. Let me bring you in for a close-up. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, make sure your sides are covered. Let's see. Oh, those are. Oh, they all set up like split. Can't tell. Oh, no, they're all covered. Yay, don't have to mess with that today. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, I'll bring you in for a close-up. Let's go for some close-ups. Of course, lots of cells and lacing. It's not as bright as the other one was, but really shouldn't compare them like that. <laughs> it's still really pretty. But I am going to compare them because I am going to put side-by-side -side pictures. Just to show you the exact same colors. You can't wreck it exactly the same way because who knows even how you wrecked it. So then the spin is random. You know, the dr drizzling is random. So they all factor in and how the outcome is going to be. So you can use the same colors over and over and come up with different paintings. All right. Well, there it is. Very fun. So... From that way, it looks one way, and this looks completely different. Actually, I think it's from this direction. It kind of looks like a tree, a landscape or something. I don't know. I think it's because the movement is all landscape style that way. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.